Well, it was interesting because, uh, you know, of course, when it, uh, I'd always, I'd always wonder where, where's my alternate? Like, <laughs> and um, so then it came along, and in these events, I always said, oh, well, she should be crazy. She should be like a bag woman. She should be, you know, out there since she's so controlled. So then I get these scripts that sort of say she looks the same, she talks the same. It's like, well, bummer. This is really terrible. And then I got that script and went, yes, I get it now. That is the fun of it. Well, it, something interesting happens in the very next episode, um, what her fate is, which kind of uh, stops her in her tracks. But then, I mean, this last eight scripts are very surprising, and uh, then there's another version of Nina that comes along that's quite unusual. So I've had fun, and several weeks. So that's good. So, uh, ba bad Nina, who we call Mina, right? Me, Nina. <laughs> um, Mina uh, is, uh, was thwarted. You know, there was no William Bell. There was there was no bishop that brought her into the fold, and Jones did. So you have a woman who has a bit of you know a chip on her shoulder and has wasted. Um, it's bitter. She's wasted resources. You know, for whatever the in the original timeline, the Walter, the Bishop Bell, Nina Nexus is. You know, she's of a generation that women weren't allowed to be those kinds of scientists. So she was that helpmate, you know, both as a girlfriend, perhaps, to both of them. We've never been sure about that. Um, but but she was the one that understood it, which is why Belle left her the company to run, you know, and to look after Walter. So she's had a full life, you know, an interesting life, whereas Mina hasn't. So she is really untrustworthy. I wouldn't trust good Nina either, but I really wouldn't trust Nina. Because she will, uh, I think she's like a rat in a cage, right? I'd watch out. Totally fun. Because also remember, at the fourth year, who'd want to be in the fourth year of Law and Order? You'd want to put your head in the oven, right? You know, you hear that music and you got the same thing. Now this, each week, as I say, you have no idea what they're going to ask you to do, you know? And then, and that's really fun. It's really, it's really fun. No, but I can't wait. It's really fun. I got a wheelchair <laughs> that I can move around. That's all I'm going to tell you. Oh yeah, yeah. No, we follow the mythology. What, what, what I like is that I don't know what's coming. I know what's happened, but and even episodes I'm not in, I, you know, I read all, I read all the scripts. So I know what's happened. I like not knowing where we're going, so I don't really, you know. Times when it, it was not clear when the scripts first arrived up with Good and Bad Nina, who's who. So I literally had to say, okay, so where are we? You know, it, was, it wasn't Bolivia, it was always Olivia, but what's the deal? So, yeah, the, the, the guys are very good about clarifying these kind of small points. But beyond that, I don't want to spoil the fun for myself either. Because I think actors have a terrible habit of trying to simplify things. So if you knew that, you'd sort of want to say, oh, well, I was here and then I was there. And we telegraph this. I mean, the hard part about playing the alternate, the same, was not wanting to telegraph, pay attention, I'm not really who I see, and I thought, you must not do that. You have to play it exactly the same, because that's the fun for fans to discover.